Speedcafe.com reporting here from Belgium. We're at the Spa 24 hour following the progress of Nissan's Matt Simmons. Matt won Nissan's GT Academy, turning PlayStation drivers into pro racing car drivers. We caught up with Matt ahead of the race. So Matt, coming up to 12 months now since you won the GT Academy, do you feel like a real racing car driver rocking into these tracks yet or is it still a bit surreal? It's definitely surreal because every race has kind of been bigger and better. Um, and coming to a place like Spa and doing the 24 hours is, um, it, you're still mind's still tingling and you still can't believe what you've achieved and um, and you wake up still so happy to be able to be living your dream and that and that's very really really special for me you only did a handful of races in some uk club stuff before being thrust straight into this blanc pain series what have you made of the three rounds that you've done so far um, it was definitely a massive steep learning curve knowing what we did in the development driver program uh, coming into blanc pain but what a lot of people don't know is how much and how condensed the development driver program is. I drew so much from that program into these three races that I've done so far. And that's helped me progress quite quickly and quite comfortably into the transition of driving these GD3 cars um, in one of the most competitive uh, series in the world. So um, always learning, obviously. So every time I'm on track, I want to get the most out of the car and, uh, and make the most of... Uh, you know, driving for internationally, and that's um, what I'm hoping to continue to do for the rest of the year. Obviously, you've got a lot of experience in the sim racing. What uh, qualities that you gained from that translated really well into this in terms of concentration and all those things, but what have been the biggest challenges as well to, to adapt to real-life racing? I think the craziest trans uh, similarities between gaming and, and coming into racing um, is the feeling you get with your hands. Uh, when you're actually driving on a simulator, um, it works really well in, in racing. So, um, and it just heightens it because you're feeling it through your body. So you kind of have that part of what to do with your hands and your eyes, and then your whole body just comes into it. So it's, um, it's a really cool transition and it worked really well for me. Um, and the concentration and everything that I learned um, in simulations helped. Um, and the biggest thing as well was um, being able to drive tracks beforehand feeling like I've been there before. Um, so when I came in, I knew what gears to be in, kind of where to break, and it's exactly like that. It's just getting used to the feeling of your body and the reactions and all that, and that's what takes a while to get used to, um, and getting more brave. <laughs> I think it just, um, and that's where you become a better racing driver, and that's ultimately what all you're trying to do every time you're in the car. And the off-track stuff too. Obviously, you need to do a lot of fitness, but Nissan need to get their pound of flesh as well. You can't just drive the car. You've got to do all this media stuff too. That's not for everyone. How have you found all that? Um, it's, it's been fun. I, I really enjoy being able to um, obviously train a lot and, and get myself as fit as I can for the car. Um, but then off being able to talk to media and, and get out there and still seeing my face everywhere is a bit weird. Uh, but I enjoy being able to share the experience with the fans and, and family and friends. And, um, and it's something you can't do when you're back home. You know, internationally, it's a bit tricky with time zones. So it's great to be able to show them what, what I'm doing and living the dream. And if they can join the journey with me, then... Uh, then I'm happy. So Nissan Australia boss Richard Emery has talked a little bit in the recent past about you may be racing in New Zealand at the end of the year and maybe the Bathurst 12 next year as well. How exciting is that, the thought of racing in front of more of your friends and family down in our part of the world? I'd love to race race at home one day. And you know, if the opportunity ever came up, um, I'd, I'd, I'd be sitting in the race seat ready to go before anyone else, I think. So um, nothing, nothing's definite, we don't know. Um, so for me, my full focus is this, um, racing Spa 24 hour and getting through the season of Blanc Pan because I want to show you the best I can in the car and the opportunity I've got now um, and then see what happens at the end of the year and uh, see what happens next year. If I continue my racing dream, um, I'm going to be really happy to, to yeah, continue that. And lastly, just with this weekend, obviously it's a bigger challenge in terms of if it's a 24-hour race, but this is a pretty gnarly joint spa. What have you made of the track? Coming to Spa was really special. We're um, fortunate that obviously uh, they have an official test. So we got a great running that, that day. Uh, but for me, it was able for me to get, um, I don't know how you say, big cojones to get through the Rouge. That's what it was for me. So um, it's unbelievable how quick and how much confidence you have to take and belief in yourself to get through those corners. Something I've never felt before in my body. So um, coming to the race was a bit more comfortable because I've had that time on track. Um, but again, Spa brings weather, so uh, you're not going to come here and not expect to race in the rain. Um, and you're racing at night, so there's going to be new challenges for me throughout the whole weekend um, that I'm, I'm ready to do. Um, and yeah, can't wait to hopefully get a great result come Sunday afternoon and 
and see that checkered flag will be uh, an achievement itself.